today I'm coming at you with a new type of video. Um, long story short, I love watching tutorials and nine times out of 10, I will buy whatever you're selling me because they make it look so good. I just, the sorcery that they possess to beautify their faces in such a way, I just, I've decided to try to do the same. No. <laughs> No! No! God, please, no! No! Most of the popular beauty gurus um, started out as makeup artists, so they have a better hold on things like um, color, uh, blending, how to use a makeup brush. So I'm going to start by trying to replicate the Jacqueline Hill by Morph uh, Morphe palette um she does a tutorial her very first tutorial using her palette it's back in stock so i figured why not um so we can give this a chance to see if a uh, regular old joe schmo can kind of do what she did <laughs> in her video someone send help okay hey guys hey girl <laughs> i can't believe that i'm actually filming this video today like it looks in mind this being i forgot she talks a lot so i'm gonna just fast forward till we get to the makeup part all right so i already have on my base like, wait a minute um, bruh oh, how to wait take a few steps how are you gonna start and my powder and i have on my brows so I look a little okay well i don't have I any of that on so <laughs> guess i should go and just do mine now I'm gonna start off with MFEO. It is the fourth shade in the palette. And this is a matte, kind of medium tone, warm brown. I created the shade specifically for the transition color. If you see me fumbling for a second, it's because I'm trying to find corresponding shades with. In the upper crease, which is the transition area. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm actually using this on camera right now. This is crazy. I basically have nothing left on my brush. We're just blending. Well, how do you out. know if you don't have anything? If you need, you can talk to me. I'm filming a tutorial, so. Who is she talking to? to? The camera, but. Okay. So we're in a retainer? No. Right, next, I'm going to go in with the shade Butter, which is the second color in the second row. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a denser brush. This is the M441 by Morphe. I'm going to pick a little bit of that. I don't have a denser right brush. Over that area. You can just carve it out and you can create your own crease with the shadow. How That's do you carve it out? You have makeup, honestly. You can create your own crease, create your a different nose, a different face shape, create whatever the hell you want with makeup. You can create a different life if you really need to. And then just like the first color, a I'm different going life. To slightly bright. I still can't believe that I actually named the shade Pukey. Pukey? I'm going to run that over everything that I just. Pukey. She named a shade. I'm gonna take some translucent powder. On Wait, I don't have right that. Now, carve out where I'm I want still my trying to, to stop use so the pukey. Gets messy. I do this all the time. Can you Almost slow down for I a second? Do. I found this banana powder that I had. I just went everywhere. Jacqueline, we don't have all the brushes you have. Okay. Be a little bit more time consuming if you do your eyes first and then go with your foundation. I think doing your foundation first is much faster. And then I was going to like now she's got a blender. What? Okay. So I'm packing on these. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. This step is not necessary to create this eye look, but it's just whatever. Why are you the way that you are? M573. It's like a little bit more tapered, but I'm it's still just like very using the same brush I've been using. I'm gonna go ahead and just start popping this right there in. One that crease area now it looks like red on her i don't this is like a darkish Same brown thing. on I'm just gonna bring this into my inner corner keeping it really low and nice and deep okay okay now i'm gonna go in with the shade wait i have to do the other eye such a, a little bit of creamsicle right you're going here, so fast so far i have used oh, does that not work Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Roxanne, which is this really dark kind of like brick rusty copper shade. I thought we just used that. I'm gonna pick Did I use the wrong one? To, like my shimmers to really pop and be extra. So if you want them to be way more metallic, then I would wet your brush with anything. You can use it doesn't even mean, okay. Really dark she named the wrong one. It's Hilster. It's not Roxanne. It's Hilster. Okay, it's this. It's the shimmery one. It's Hilster. I knew I wasn't crazy. And I'm just gonna pack this color okay, on. Okay, so I'm all just using the, the entire lid area. It basically. 
Okay, now I'm going to pick oh, up a little pretty. bit of Firework and Queen, and I'm going to mix both of these together. Firework and Queen. Oh, hold on, I'm still on, on Hilster. You're in the center of my lid. And I am using a very small amount of product. I'm doing all of this, by the way, you guys. Like, very, very small amount. Because I... I don't know, I don't want this to be too like in your face. Like, I want the entire stand. Out you know you should have told me that before I got started, because now I'm I mean I'm raw. Okay, wait. Did she brush it off? She brushed it off. Okay. Back up and do a little bit more work on the upper lid, but right now I sort of kind of move to the bottom and kind of get the shape going. Lower lash line. So I don't have a pencil brush. Oh maybe right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect that with the shadow and just bring that down. I don't have that. I just have one that's kind of smaller. She's doing pukey, right? Okay. Um, second to last row on a definer brush. I'm just going to put that directly on my little lash line. I don't have a definer brush. I'm going to use one that looks like this. And you put it. I barely even touch my skin. It's just so smooth and beautiful. You said barely touch your skin? <laughs> this one's better. I cannot go a day without inner corner highlighter. You can hear it so much. There we go. That one's that one's the I'm good mixing. one. <laughs> you guys, this is hard. All right, for lashes, I'm gonna go in with Flutter Lash. Oh, we're done. Intoxicating. These are some of my favorite right. lashes. Intoxicating is it. Okay. okay. Well, lashes I have my own little uh, Rite Aid lashes. Tell you. Now to really like deepen it. In. Okay, so she did her lashes off camera, and I'm not gonna force you all to watch me do my struggle lashes. So, I'll be right back. To go. I want to really make this look extra. <laughs> What's new? Let me get a little bit of my eye with this. Okay, I never do the inner rim of my eye. That will work just as well. My eye. I've been doing it oh. the past six months or so. Under by ColourPop. Wait, this is the I'm not done. Duo in the shade Topaz. I'm going to be using a Morphe R2 as my... She goes too fast, y'all. I mean, I know the power of pods and all of that, but if I'm trying to follow along, you know, you got to slow it down. Roll it down. Roll it down. Give me a second, y'all. I'm trying not to poke myself. Poke myself in the eye. Bronze away, darling. Oh, she's bronzing. Okay, I'm using this Bobbi Brown that I've had for way too long. I don't have clear brow gel either, so. I just got this highlighter in the mail. It's from Jeffree Star Cosmetics Summer Collection. This pink. We don't like Jeffree Star. We don't. Different. And I'm gonna use Fenty because we like Fenty up in here, not that Jeffrey mess. I just really okay. Okay. Go okay. ahead and just line my lips and completely fill them in. Oh, I don't have. I don't have a lip liner, you guys. Okay, so I don't have the lip liner. That's the color that she's using, but it looks like whatever nude she's really about to use is those. like close to this. I'm just gonna use this. Uh. Oh, it's dry, y'all. Um, I think, yeah, this is kind of... Such a gorgeous lip liner. Now I'm going to pick up some blush nude by Tom Ford, which is one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever. I'm it just looks a little dry. I just put a little... Then over top of that, I'm going to go in with, with the some Dior gloss. Lip Maximizer Lip Gloss in I knew it. 001. This has been, like, my favorite out, so oh, I just go right in there. Oh, right I'm not going to do that right now, but that's cute. Oh gosh, okay, we're going to use... Okay, I have a that good. I've got this cover fix matte uh setting setting powder. Here we go. Alright, you guys, that is it for this video. Okay, so overall, um I mean let's be honest, it doesn't look like what she did. I mean, um she's definitely got as I can see now, more of the like highlight color here. I'm clearly I was a little sloppy. Just a little bit. It's not terrible. I think some adjustments definitely can be made. I could have been lighter here um, so that it doesn't look like I just slapped red on there. It's kind of cute though. Yeah, I think if I had just brought the color down, if this was just a little more clean, it's not that bad. Uh, if you guys like this video or you're interested in seeing some more of me trying some beauty guru tutorials go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below especially if there's a specific tutorial you want to see a regular person do um put that down there as well so i can check it out something else that we, i want to bring up and consider uh for everybody is cost this was 38 dollars um 
on top of the brushes on top of the bronzers and things like that if you're interested in knowing like the reality of how much it costs to recreate some of the looks put that in the comments as well and i will know for next time to start including the price point you know how much this look cost overall stuff like that um yeah that was actually kind of fun i'm low-key proud of myself like she kind of cute or whatever all right kitties i hope you have an awesome week and don't forget Keep it cute.